Straight away, we move on to business. Industry leaders and stakeholders have gathered at an export round to legacy discuss strategies to strength and for strengthening and also expanding our address export sector. The main focus of the roundtable is how Nigeria can better capitalize on the vast potential of this export trade. Exporters are always faced with the challenges of dealing with international buyers. Many of them often prefer to engage in local businesses where their money can be tracked easily. The 2024 edition of the Export Business Roundtable convened industry players and trade stakeholders to explore how Nigeria can better position itself in the global export market. Through insightful presentations and discussions, participants identified actionable solutions to boost Nigeria's competitiveness on the global stage. So government uh, is, is, is already helping, but government will still help more, especially in this loan, in this uh, uh, loan uh, issue of loan. Government have to uh, talk to a Nigerian export bank to make it simpler. Because the type of documentation they are looking for, it's not what it's not what all those uh, all those small small people can do. But they have to make it simpler for them. Do we have an uh, we have a uh, uh, we have a, a sort of uh, cooperative that can help to aggregate for them? Speakers stressed the need for enhanced cooperation and collaboration between the government and the private sector to unlock new opportunities for Nigerian businesses abroad. There is nowhere in the world where you succeed in export unless when you are doing it as a lone person, exporting is about cooperation and co collaboration. Because it is not just about you, the car you drive that you that brought you here contains maybe two hundred a thousand parts that came from different places. That's how export also works. Participants highlighted the importance of shifting focus from raw material exports to value-added goods, which they believe is key to driving economic growth and sustainable development. Because Nigerian bank, I must say this moment, do not lend to small businesses. Reason best known to them. And then if you don't lend, the, if you don't lend to small businesses, which is a backbone of your economy, who then will you lend to? It can't work. Most of them have problems. You hear, you hear words, stories that are just not it. So the whole aim of this is for them, first of all, to know the, that there's a standard that is expected for all those products. And then we also want to discourage the export of raw materials. We're targeting finished made in Nigeria products. The roundtable concluded with strong commitment to fostering public-private partnerships and creating an enabling environment for export to thrive. And now before we go, a uh, quick recap of our headlines. As Bibi goes near, Governor Vasek has warned that next week's governorship election in the state is a do or die affair. So more governments have donated to victims as the police commissioner restricts movement on a collapse bridge. And lastly, the Israeli army is vowed to do everything to save hostages. And that's the news now. For more stories, please uh, follow us on Facebook, X, and Instagram, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus of Africa, and Plus of Africa Lifestyle. You can also view us from Limex on Limex.tv, Anglo TV apps, anywhere in the world. I am Emmanuel Olubobokun. Many thanks for watching. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.